Do you wake up in a cold sweat worrying about mycotoxins? So do we, and there's no better therapy than the Mycotoxin Minute. We've said a lot over the last year and a half about just how sneaky mycotoxin-producing molds can be. But what does this really mean? We can sum it up in one word, opportunism. And perhaps we see opportunism in its purest form in the way that molds react to weather. When you think about it this way, there's no more opportunistic mold out there than Fusarium. It will grow in wet conditions, spewing out deoxynevalanol as it goes. This was our story last week about increasing levels of dawn in North America resulting, perhaps, from flood conditions in early 2019. But, and here's the devilish thing about Fusarium, in the dry heat of a drought, it will also grow, leaving fumonisms in its wake. Yes, as it turns out, drought stress followed by warm weather, such as you might find in a Texas cornfield in an average August, helps to provoke Fusarium into producing fumonisms. And it's exactly these mycotoxins that we're focusing on today. Over the last six months in North America, we've tested 330 samples of feed for total fumonism. 69.5% tested above the LOD, while 3.4% were above 5,000 ppb, the U.S. threshold for feed for equids and rabbits. This represents only a subtle improvement over last year, when 4.7% of samples tested above the 5,000 ppb threshold. What does all this mean? What do you do if it's dry? Test. What do you do if it's wet? Test. What do you do if it's cold? You get the picture. See you next week.